Hi guys, Justin Brown here. Is your video editing taking too long? Well, here's a shortcut that'll help you cut your editing time in half, no matter which software you're using. This simple shortcut has helped me time and time again, especially working around tight deadlines and moving from one shoot location to another. The shortcut is generally referred to as trim, top and tail, and you'll find it in most video editing software. Probably the easiest way for me to explain this to you is to show you on the computer. So what trim, top and tail actually does is it saves you quite a few steps in your editing process, which makes it much quicker to actually cut down a large amount of footage to something really small in a quick amount of time. So I'll start by showing you what the traditional way is or the, the standard way is, and then the benefit of trim, top and tail. So if we want to actually start this video clip somewhere around here, we've got all this footage here leading up to it. We don't want any of that. We want to start right at this wave. So what we'll do is we'd add a cut in your timeline. So I've cut it there. We'd select all of this footage. We'd press delete and we're left with the gap. So then we've got to select our footage and close up the gap. All of that just to remove that previous footage. So what trim top and tail does, we'll just undo all of that back to where we were, is it does all of that in one key press. So if we want that to be our start point now, we'll press Q on the keyboard. And what Q does is it trims everything from your playback head back to the left. Perfect, all of that is now done in one keyboard press. So I'll undo that again. Let's go back up here. Let's pick this wave. So the same works back the other way. So Q was to the left, W works to the right. So there we go, if we wanna finish this shot here, and we want to get rid of all of this footage here, we'll press W. And there you go. The footage is deleted, the gap is closed. In ScreenFlow, they've got trim, top and tail as well. It works almost the same as it does in Adobe Premiere. So if we've got our playback head where we want the clip to start, about here, click on the clip. The keyboard shortcuts here are W and E. So W, again, will get rid of and remove everything on the left of the playback head, and E, which is the key on the right, is gonna remove everything to the right. So we press W now, you'll see that it's removed everything left of the playback head. What it doesn't do is close up the gap, which Premiere did, and Avid does as well. So we'll click on that, right click, and choose Close Gap. And that has the full feature then of trim top and tail. So again, on the right, we want to finish about there, or just before the next shot comes in. Click on our clip, press E to get rid of everything to the right. And there is our wave there. Now, cut with two keyboard presses instead of quite a few. I really hope this tip helps you as much as it's helped me. Happy editing.